And Pico customers can now start to do their homework to save money come January. And joining us now to sort it all out is PUC Commissioner Robert Palson. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. Don, pleasure to be with you this evening. Pico has announced its price to compare. What exactly does that mean for consumers who are shopping for electricity? Because it's kind of confusing, I think, to people. It is. And, and what, what it basically means is on January 1, if you're a Pico customer and you do not pick an alternative generation supplier, the default generation rate will be 9.92 cents. I'm here this, this evening to tell customers and pick an alternative generation supplier and save some money, some real money, on your monthly electric bills. What kind of money are we talking about here? Well, this, there's, there's, it's based on the, the product offering. You can have a variable rate product. Uh, you can pick a, a term that goes out beyond a year. Uh, some of the offers you'll see will be very similar on the electric generation supply front. Wow, so there's a lot of opportunity to save money. But I have to ask you, what should consumers know? What should they be wary of? How do you know which company to go with? What's a legitimate offer? That's a great question. And, and what, we, what we encourage customers to do, uh, any offer that's coming to you via email or direct mail, uh, customers should have the peace of mind in knowing that those, those uh, pr generation suppliers are approved by the Public Utility Commission to do business. They have bonding requirements, certificates of insurance in order, and they're approved by the, by the Commission to do business here in Pennsylvania. So the bottom line to consumers really do your homework because this could be a huge savings. As I like to tell people, PICO does not care where you pick your generation supplier. It's simply a pass through on the bill right now, or excuse me, on January 1. So the lights and the reliability, nothing's going to change. Uh, and customers need to embrace this. This is new to Pennsylvania. Forty percent of the customers already in Pennsylvania are shopping. The remaining 60 percent, when PICO's rate cap comes off, uh, will be in this new paradigm. Uh, across the state, we've seen phenomenal statistics. In the PPL service territory just north of here, 33 percent of the residential customers in less than four months have picked an alternative generation wow. supplier. And save money. Well, Commissioner Robert Palson, thank you so much for joining us on Survive and Thrive. Don, always a pleasure to be with you. Thank you.